Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. In this next video we're gonna do is just start scoping out the components for our application. So generally the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is just get the different pages set up. So what I'm gonna do here, now that we have router set up from the previous video, I'm gonna make a new folder in here called pages. So that way I can separate the React components which act like pages with router versus the components that are just separate UI components. I don't necessarily wanna be mixing like my cards and containers in the same folder as my pages. Okay, and let's just kind of get the boilerplate set up. So we're gonna want one that's kind of like a home page, so home.jsx. Okay, we might as well just set up all the boilerplate here. So import react from react. Okay, and cool import react from react. And then we're just going to say const home equals props. And then we'll just return an h1 that says home. OK. And then we export default home. So let's copy that. I'm going to need one for the login page. Let me think about how I want to do that. Log in. Do I want to do two separate forms or use one form? I will use, we'll call this just the auth form. So rename auth. So we can use it for logging in and logging out. Login. I mean auth. Auth. Okay, and auth. Okie dokie. Cool. And oh, okay, so let me rename this home name home so home is home off is off and what else do I need I need a display page or dashboard that's gonna be what happens when you get when you log in uh, paste let's rename that we'll call that dashboard okay and that'll be dashboard 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 okay cool save okay so that works for me so we got those scoped out now let's go back to our main page uh, which is going to be the app component where do I have my app component oh it's in components that's right okay we're gonna go to components and um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Let's just actually just run the server and make sure that everything's working. npm run dev, because again, this is not create React app. So this is a template that I made. So it's npm run dev. Oh, complain that the port's in use. So I must have something else using the port. Okay, we'll come back to those errors. So let's see here, module not found, cannot resolve app state and front end source mm, let's see here let's go back to index.jsx dot slash app state what did i call it app state yep i guess they want me to put the whole extension jsx yep that's what they needed but it looks like it should be working now so let's go to localhost 4000 Okay, so let's kill that port. So I'm gonna use my sudo kill command, control shift V, change this to 4000. Okay, and then let's do that npm run dev again. There we go. And we're not seeing hello world. 
That means something needs to be fixed. So console.log. Let's examine. Okay, reference use reducer is not defined. Oh, that's right. Okay, so let's go back to our app state for a moment. Just clean that up. Okay, what I need to do is also destructure use context use reducer. From there. Okay, now let's take a look. There we go. Now we're now we're up and running. Okay. Cool. So now that we have that working, let's go back to our app.js and start setting up our main router. So I, I do want to go back and make a component called navigation. So I actually want to copy one of these, copy and then paste that over here in components and just make this nav. I can rename nav and this will be nav nav. Okay, so what I want is a fragment, and in that fragment, I want the the nav tag. Okay, and then we're gonna have our switch from router, and I have to import all these things. Okay, and we'll put all our routes in there. So one route should be for the home component. Uh, route path equals, I, should, I want it to be an exact path, equals slash, and the component will equal home. Okay. Then for the forms, I want route path equals slash login. Now for this, I'm gonna have to use render props because that way I only have to make one form component or one uh, one auth component and I can reuse that form twice. I need to pass in some props depending on the route. So I do need uh, props or I could use a URL param technically. Um, Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do auth. Okay, and okay. And then what it will render is the component. Um, well, I gotta put it the closing quote. The component equals uh, auth. Okay, because I can use the param, and then that I can use to like edit the state. You'll see what I mean when we make it. Just because if I use like the render props, it tends to make everything a little bit more complicated. Understanding like why I set up the things the way I did off form um, and then I want the dashboard page route path equals slash dashboard okay component equals dashboard okay so now we need to import all these components okay and let's import switch and route from react router dom let's import home from dot dot slash pages slash home dot jsx Okay, and then let me just copy that over two more times. Control C for auth and dashboard. So 
So off off and dashboard dashboard. Okay. Cool. So that's set there. Nice. Okay, and then what I want to do. So let's take a look over here. Let's see if there's any errors, and looks like there might be. Nav is not defined. Oh, I never imported nav. Okay, import nav from dot dot actually not even dot slash nav.jsx and see if we get any more errors nope we're good okay cool why is it showing home twice home oh I think it's because of the nav yep change that to nav and actually we can just start building out the nav well maybe I should do that as a different video so we so what we've done in this video, we built out our basic component structure. Okay, so we're gonna have three pages. You're gonna have your home page, which is when you're not logged in. Then you're gonna have your dashboard page, which is gonna be when you are logged in. Okay, and then we're gonna have your auth page to log in. And we're eventually gonna have to add one more form for the purposes of like adding and updating and editing things. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But we have enough to start sort of building out our initial logic. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out this nav component. And we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in that video. And uh, yeah, have a good one.